Now, a breaking news, Sinclair exclusive. That's right. A Justice Department official has confirmed to Sinclair that the FBI opened up a criminal investigation into Hunter Biden and his associates back in 2019, focused on allegations of money laundering and that the probe remains active. Sinclair investigative reporter James Rosen has also spoken with a witness in those allegations. A Justice Department official confirmed to Sinclair that back in 2019, the FBI opened up a criminal investigation into Hunter Biden and his associates that is focused on allegations of money laundering and remains open and active today. Tony Bobulinski, thank you for joining us from Los Angeles. Separately, Tony Bobulinski, the former business partner of Hunter Biden, who has cited emails, documents, and other evidence to allege that former Vice President Biden was more deeply involved in his son's business dealings in China than either man has acknowledged, told Sinclair he was interviewed interviewed by the FBI in Washington on October 23rd with counsel present for about five hours with up to six agents in the room at one time. He said the agents carefully examined the digital evidence captured on the three cell phones Bobulinski made available and told him he will be brought back for additional questioning. They do list me as a material witness within the entire FBI on their computer systems and it was a very cooperative uh, deep dive into all the facts across that time period. In connection with what were you listed as a material witness? Uh, in connection with the discussion of the Biden family, CFC, and other operations around the world involving other countries. CEFC is the Chinese energy giant, effectively an arm of the government and the Communist Party, with which Hunter Biden pursued a $10 million deal, according to Bobulinski's first-hand account and a wealth of evidence now in the public domain. It was from CEFC, according to a Senate report, that Hunter Biden's law firm, through a company he helped set up, received approximately $5 million in the summer of 2017. Joe, what's that all about? This president paid 50 times the tax in China. It was prior to the final presidential debate in Nashville on October 22nd that Bob Yulinsky, a former Naval Nuclear Command officer with a Q-level security clearance, now a wealthy corporate investor, first went public with his charges about the Biden family, including his account of two face-to-face -face meetings with the former vice president. The FBI interviewed Bob Yulinsky the very next day. Did you get the sense that the FBI had already been working on these related issues uh, and matters prior to you making that public statement in Nashville? Uh, my impression is everyone in that room was very aware of the sensitivity of the parties involved here and potential multiple impacts to this country. Vice President Biden has denied having any knowledge of his son's overseas business dealings, but the authenticity of the digital evidence that Bob Yulinsky has cited has not been disputed by the Biden campaign. The campaign's director of rapid response did not respond to our requests for comment. In Washington, James Rosen.